Particle exercise. In a basic English sentence, you have a subject, a verb, and an object. The verb comes right after the subject. In a Japanese sentence, we also have a subject, a verb, and an object. However, we may change the order of elements except for a verb, which comes at the end of a sentence all the time. Also, we put a marker after each noun to determine how it works in a sentence. Ga tells a noun before it is a subject. O tells the noun before it is an object. To is translated to with or and. Mo is translated to also. Ya is translated to and others. Now, let's look at sentences and translate them into English. 一 Ken ga mari o oikakeru Ken will chase mari ni Ken o mari ga oikakeru Mari will chase Ken San Ken o mari to oikakeru I will chase Ken with Mari if there is no word which is followed by ga, we can get that the subject is I. Yom Ken to Mari o oikakeru. This sentence has two meanings. First, I will chase Mari with Ken. Second, I will chase Ken and Mari. Go. Ken ga Mari to oikakeru. Ken will chase someone with Mari. Even if there is no word which is followed by O, we can get that Ken chases someone. Roku Ken to Mari ga oikakeru Ken and Mari will chase someone. Nana Ken ya Mari ga oikakeru Ken and Mari and others will chase someone. Hachi Ken mo Mari o oikakeru Ken also will chase Mary. Mo can be replaced by ga. It means Ken is not only person who chases Mary. Q. Ken o Mary mo oikakeru. Mary also 
will chase can. Ju can mo mari mo oikakeru. Also, can and marry will chase someone. Now you can see how important Japanese particles are. If you want to know more about Japanese particles, please read this book, 50 Keys to Opening the New World of Japanese.